What's up guys, this is Best Wires, and today it is Maxime coming at you with my Mech Lords again. But basically I've decided to shift up the deck, so instead of trying to make it like an OTK summoning boss monsters and a competitive deck, I decided that the, the deck really doesn't have enough support to make it really competitive, so I decided to go with a kind of a more fun, synchro control -y version of the deck, which I'm actually really, really enjoying a lot more. First, we have the new kind of focus of the deck, I guess, our better boss monster. Three Mechlord Emperor Weissel. Now this card, basically, so the, de the deck is really complicated, so I'm going to go through explaining it. If you don't want to listen to all my explanations, there will be a deck list in the description. Basically, all the Mechlord Emperors are level 1, and that gives you the advantage of being able to manipulate them with lower, lower cards, but I'll get to that later. Basically, this guy, um, so all the Mechlord Emperors can control Synchros. So if your enemy has a Synchro, Weissel can take that Synchro and gain its attack. Um, he can also, once per turn during either player's turn, negate a spell card that's activated, which is really, really useful. So, th that's his advantage. He's also a strong beat stick, and every Mechlord Emperor you get out by, if one of your the cards you control is destroyed by a, bat by a card effect, unless it's in the battle phase, so you, you can't special summon off a Mirror Force, you special summon this card. So, this is one of the focuses of the deck. So, you run three of Mechlord Emperor Wise. Then, second, you run two of Emperor Granite. Now, I used to run this guy at um, 3, and he was the main focus of the deck, but basically he's a unique one, so he can also steal synchros and does stuff with them, And but he does know, has, has no special effect as such. He basically has attack and defense equal to half your current uh, life points. So you get him out, and in the beginning of the game, he's 4k, 4k stick. He has no self-protection, though, which is a really big problem, so you really want to ODK with him. Um, but I run him at 2 and you can run him at 1 or not at all if you want. I just think it's really, really fun if you get this guy at first turn and then limit to removal because that's one of the most fun things I think you can do in this game. So then I no longer run the third Emperor, which is Emperor Skeel. He's basically a 2.2k beat stick and he's really quite useless to be honest. Now for the armies. These are like the meant to be like the mini minions of those big Emperors. This is Mechlord Army of White, so he's basically a 1.8k beat stick with zero defense. And he is the key to your Synchro Engine. Basically, the fact that he is Dark, level 4, and has zero defense, allows you to manipulate him with two really cool uh, tuners called Black Salvo and Mask Chameleon. And his effect, basically, he's got um, defensive, basically, whenever he attacks a face down, and he, ba he ba it allows him, basically, to do damage through defense position. It's not that cool, but it's kind of useful sometimes. So, yeah. And he also gains 100 attack for each uh, other face-up Mechlord card you have in the field, but that's not that useful. So then you have really quite a versatile card. You don't appreciate it till you've really used the deck, but three around three grand. Uh, all the armies level four, which is quite nice for level four XEs. But basically, this guy, when he's summoned, you can target one face up card your opponent controls and a half its attack until the end phase. Which means this guy can get over. You can theoretically beat over stuff like destroyers, blue eyes, which is going to be really good in the next lot formats because of its structure deck and shining victories and stuff. So yeah, this it's a really cool card and it's very useful. Also, it gains 100 attack for every monster you control. And then the last Mechlord Army, Mechlord Army of Skeel, way better than, the, than this Emperor, in my opinion at least. Basically, it's a floater. So whenever it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you special summon another Mechlord Army from your deck, which is really, really nice. It's, it helps you defend against some of the really powerful decks in the format right now, like Monarchs. And it gains 200 attack for each face up Mechlord monster. So you can see why this deck does have some OTK potential. Now onto the secondary kind of side of this deck, we have two Black South, and that is accompanied by two Mask Chameleon. Now these two cards are the Synchro part of your deck. So basically, Black South is when it's normal summon, special summon one level four Dark Machine type monster from your graveyard in defense position, and it's a tuner, which allows you to go into any level seven Synchro, which is really really nice. And then Mask Chameleon is when it's normal summoned, and yeah, basically when it's normal summoned, you can special summon a monster with zero defense from your graveyard, and it allows you to go into any level eight um, synchro, which is really really nice as well. So you can go into meta cards like uh, Clear Wing and Crystal Wing, no not Crystal Wing, Clear Wing and Cyframe Omega and Black Rose and Moonlight Dragon, etc. So these are. The Synchro engine in the deck is really, really nice. Plus, it's nice you can go into XCs with Mask Chameleon as well. Then, in my OTK version of the deck, I was running 
two Perform Age Hat Tricker, and uh, along with a bunch of other Perform Age cards. But I kept these ones mainly because they allow you to spam out um, XDs, and they really help you pop off to get a lot of synchros in the on the field. So yeah, nice tech. You don't need to run them if you want. You can run extra back row or more metal cards. I just like it personally the other day. And then two cards which you really will never not find in a any kind of machine deck profile is Machina Gear Frame and Machina Fortress. Machina Fortress helps you do two things. One, it helps you get your Weisels in the graveyard, which is really important for the whole single part of your deck. Basically, you discard machine type monsters whose level equal eight or more, and then you fetch on this guy. It can also be done from the graveyard, and he has an effect if he's destroyed by battle or targeted. So he's he's actually really quite versatile and can be really really annoying to get over. And Machina Gear Frame basically searches any Machina monster from your deck, and he's 1-800 B-Stick. He also has zero defense, which helps you use him with um, Mask Medium. So yeah, these two cards are really, really nice. I highly recommend you take them into any machine deck, really. They're really, really useful. Then, for consistency, you run two duality. I know the deck special summons a lot, but sometimes it's really, really hard to get off. And with Upstock going to one because Konami's logic is flawed, you run two duality. Then another card you have to run in any machine deck is Limited Removal. This card is amazing. Basically, it's a quick play that doubles all machine uh, machine face up monsters their att attack until the end phase, and in the end phase you destroy them, which means you can, for example, have a Weisel attack for three six hundred, destroys, spec summon an Emperor, and next time go into Synchro with a really nice lock. So yeah. Also, the fact that your boss monsters are level one helps Mask Chameleon. Then just something that helps against the meta is Mass Change 2. Basically, it, it helps you go into Dark Lore because you have Weisel and stuff like my uh, Army of Weisel. So yeah, it's nice. And it helps you get cards in the graveyard. Then, the same concept, Foolish Burial. Because you run four Synchro cards, well, set cards that help you get out Synchros, and you only have three targets for those four ones, you need a Foolish Burial to get to those cards quickly. And that's why you run Foolish Burial. Platinum Rare is disgusting. And then you have two instant fusion. It's great for the deck, helps you get out synchros, XCs, it's smooth. So yeah, instant fusion is really good in any deck right now. And then for the removal, I run in every single deck I play. One Regeki, two Dark Cold. Although, there's these cards, even if you don't normally like running the removal for whatever reason, these cards are super, super good in mech worlds. Not Regeki so much, but Dark Cold because it destroys your monsters as well you can wipe the field and then special summon emperors off that, so that's an advantage, which is really, really nice. Then for the traps. Because Mechlord has so little support, you need to run almost all of its support, so I run 3 Chaos Infinity. Um, basically it means you flip all defense position monsters on the field to face attack position, and then special summon Mechlord monster, one Mechlord monster from your deck or graveyard. It's Vax Negated and it's destroyed in the end phase. So yeah, it's basically a way to get out your Emperors, make some synchro plays, make some XZ plays. And if you set three of these, it's not once per turn, so... You can potentially just get three Weisels on the field, limit to removal and finish. But you know, that's something that will almost never happen, but it's really fun when it does. Then, you run three Mirror Force because the deck is quite slow, and is susceptible to a lot of OTKs because it doesn't have that much support. Then we have one, T-Tribute. This card is really strong, not only because it's T-Tribute, so it's great in the current minute, but it's really good because, once again, it destroys your own cards, and it helps you first turn get out something like a Scrap Dragon or one of your Emperors. So yeah, that's why it's really good really viable. And then, the one bottomless, because I run it every day, and this card is just stupidly good. Then for the level 8 Synchros, I run one Cyframe Lord Omega, one Scrap Dragon, and the one... Stardust. Now for these three, I run, so let's go through them one by one. So, Stardust I run because I want some longevity, I want one of my synchros at least to have some guaranteed survivability, besides Cypher and Mega, of course. And I just like Stardust because in general as a card, it's really, really cool. I run one Scrap Dragon, A because it's Scrap Dragon, it's really powerful, it's a big beater, and it helps you get rid of cards, but also it kills your own cards, so you can get out Emperors off that, which is really, really, really nice. And then you run the one Omega because this card is stupid. Then for the three level sevens, you run the one Black Rose Dragon, 
the one clearing and the one moonlight dragon. These two go together because they basically they, they do the same job. They both control level five or higher monsters by either killing them or bouncing them back and doing different things to them. And then Black Rose is great because A it nukes the field and B it nukes itself so you can summon emperors off that and after you've nuked your field it's very hard to come back against either a 4k beat stick or a 2.5k beat stick that stops you from using spells and takes all your synchros away. So yeah. That's it for the synchros. Moving on to your generic XZs. I run the one honor arc, really powerful card. One Abyss Dweller, one Castell. You could cut any of these, you could switch them around. These are just the three ones I prefer. It's really, really, really your preference. You could run Diamond Crab King, Giant Hand, Rafflesia, like two Castell maybe, whatever you want. These are just the three cards I find work the best and I like them the most. Then I run two Gear Gigan X, which is obviously originally meant for Gear Gear. Um, this card is so good because it's two level four machine type monsters and you detach an XC and you search out one level four lower machine type monster, which allows you to search out Emperors because they're level one, which is one of the key advantages of them being level one. So that's really nice. And it's also 2.3k, which is quite a nice thing to have. Then for the kind of strange exodies I run, I run one Trapeze Magician and one King of the Pharaohs. I run Trapeze Magician because if you get out two hat triggers, it attacks twice and then kills itself in the end phase and you get an Emperor off that, which is really, really sweet because you get 5k damage and a control, so that's nice. But you could cut this for anything you want. And I really recommend you run King of the Pharaohs because it's two level four monsters and the fact that it immediately gets you out a Mask Chameleon is stupid because Mask Chameleon is such a powerful card and gets you out cards like Scrap Dragon. And then for the final two cards, I run one Dark Law and one Norton. The re not reason I won Dark Law is because, there's two reasons mainly. One, because it's such a strong card in the format right now. And two, because it's it, it helps this, card, this deck have some higher damage and just, it's the control deck so it helps that. And Norton because you run an instant fusion. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, please like, comment and subscribe, and Maxime, signing out.